Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm starting to mess around with the uh, Bitverse, um, which is something that Congregate have actually been working on for a while. Um, so this is uh, Congregate, well-known sort of, uh, well, back in the day, I guess, was a, was a Flash Games uh, uh, browser portal, um, portal uh, Flash, Flash Games um, that you played in your browser. Flash doesn't exist anymore, really, so, um, but Congregate sort of still lives on to some degree in that, in that sort of browser based uh, format and it's been um, sort of messing around with NFTs, a bit, a bit more serious than messing around really. Um, and uh, part of that is the first sort of stuff it's dropped is, is this idea of the Bitverse, which I think is at the moment three announced games um, where you have um, some NFT, you have an NFT character that sort of uh, uh, acts as an interoperable asset and sort of you use it in all these different games and it sort of collects um, so you collect assets around that. Obviously, you can not obviously, but you can play these games without the NFTs as well. So they're, they're sort of you know, standard. These are web games. I think there may be mobile versions coming, um, depending on how they deal with Apple's um, new laws. Um, but you can play these games without NFTs, and they have in-app purchases and all the usual stuff we expect in a sort of um, uh, in a web game. Uh, but you have these NFTs as well. So I should point out um, that uh, I was um, given one of these. So this 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 bit hero here. Is one of the NFTs. They did a NFT sale um, uh, a couple of months ago, maybe a month ago. Um, so I didn't actually buy this. I, I was I was um, airdropped this to play um, with the uh, yeah, just play with the games. So um, they've not asked me to do the video. They just airdropped me one of these characters, but um, I'm doing a video of it because I think this stuff is interesting. So um, these these are NFTs on the Immutable X blockchain. So Immutable X is a um, uh, an Ethereum layer two. So it, it uses Ethereum. Um, but it sort of runs, uh, it's actually using Starkware or a version of Starkware. That's some of the Starkware tech anyway. Um, so it basically means you hold the NFT. The NFT is sort of held within the security um, of Ethereum, but you, you're doing it on a, on a um, not running on the Ethereum mainnet. So you, so you basically have um, much low, lower gas fees. In fact, gas fees are being subsidized by Immutable X at the moment. So there's no gas fees. Um, you can use MetaMask um, as, as a sort of a, a signing in sort of mechanic wallet. Um, so you have, supposedly you have the best of both worlds. You have sort of the speed and lack of uh, gas that you would have on a Web2 sort of infrastructure, but you have the security of Ethereum and you can sort of move assets back and forth between Ubilex and Ethereum if you want to. Anyway, um, so this, the, these are sort of, uh, just to talk a bit about value. So these are currently on the marketplace for about $100. So if I wanted to, I could sell this for $100, but obviously that'd be unethical. So <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, and I've created a... Um, a congregate account, although you can log into Bitverse with other accounts, you don't need a congregate account. Um, so that's my game account up here, and this is my wallet. Um, and uh, now I have to stake, uh, so I've connected my wallet to my account. I can delete that wallet if I want to and put another wallet in there. And now I have to stake um, these NFT to start playing. So um, it's telling me you're going to stake my hero, you won't be able to unstake this until this functionality becomes available um, in a couple of months' time. I mean, obviously, that's fine because. I'm not paying for that. Now, is it going to do anything? Let's have a go. Okay, so I'm going to have to sign. So I'm actually moving this this NFT from my wallet into this into the state uh, smart contract, I guess. So um, there we go. I'm going to have to sign all this. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Pretty straightforward. No gas. It did fire up MetaMask. That was I was signing um, the, the the transaction through my MetaMask. Um, but now we can see it is there. So I'm um, not quite sure what I do now. Heroes, there's my hero gear. Don't have any gear. Um, so let's take that away. So um, I wonder if I can play now. No, I don't know if I can do. Uh, okay. Let's see how we get on. Here we go. There's there's me. So this is my old hero actually. So this is the one I created. Um, this obviously isn't my NFT hero. So this will be the interesting thing. Can I? Can I find my NFT hero? <laughs> oh, here we go. Is that it? Is that? Oh, hold on. was that it? Oh, here we go. So I think that one. Yes, basic hero and then the hero. So if I, right, okay. So I've selected that one. Okay. Confirm. Let's see if that works. Um, okay. Terms of service. Okay. So there we go. Um, I guess that sort of worked. There. This is Gem One. Okay, it's interesting. My original NFT one was a Gen Zero, and it doesn't look the same, does it? 
Not sure about what's going on there. Um, what's all this? Um, hmm, interesting. Anyway, let's just see uh, what goes on there. Um, starting weapons, stardust, wood. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to be. No, this is not going to work out very well. I'm going to have to fight someone else. Um, and I'm not really going to know what I'm doing. Probably not going to be any other players. Oh, what this way. Oh, so yeah, I can swap. Wait, is the bow better? Uh, it's about the same. So anyway, if obviously if other people were playing, I would be <laughs> I would be playing against them, but um, I'm not because there's not anyone else in here. Oh, what's this down here? Is this like a? Uh, uh, is this where monsters spawn? Yes, this is where monsters spawn. Let's see if we can get someone to spawn. Yeah, there we go. Gonna die? Yes, probably. Now is this is this an? Et? Oh, it is an it. So it is a melee weapon. Oh, okay. It's not on. It's a ranged weapon. Okay, so I'm not in range. Let's see what I'm getting. Okay. Oh, that wasn't good. Yeah, what's that in the middle there? Is it telling me I'm gonna die? Oh, that's an oh. Okay. All right. Well, I think I might need some players to help me out on this one. Oh, there's a, uh, some stuff I can pick up here. So, if I take, oh, do I not pick it up? Oh, yeah, that died. I was trying to pick that stuff up because then you can throw it at them. Okay, so uh, that didn't work out terribly well. Quite in my pillow. Um, okay, so here's where we see this is on Immutable X. This is uh, one of the market, there's a few different marketplaces actually supporting this. Uh, Variable supports them now, actually, but this is the uh, Mutable X marketplace. So you can see here. This is, um, this is, these are the bit verse heroes. So um, I had one of those um, and now you can see it's sort of priced from low to high. So this is what they all sort of look like. Um, I'm not quite sure where the difference of uh, value is. I suppose some of these have loaded gear on them. So I'm not quite sure it's actually worth uh, $13,000. That's 11 ETH. Um, so this is all priced in ETH. So the cheapest ones say $100. Um, it looks like the ones with a bit more Sort of gear are the ones that have the most purse properties. Um, so that's just telling us what, what's going on there. Um, yeah, I'm not, not sure that gives you any more power actually in the game. Um, there we go, that's what's going on. If you wanted to come in and buy um, buy that, you'd have to obviously set up a MetaMask and or know how to work with Immutable X. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what's going on there um, with Bitverse. So, uh, Obviously, a bit more. Um, need to sort myself out a bit more there and <laughs> uh, get a bit better at that. But um, I think you, you see the basic idea of what's going on there in terms of an interoperable character.